called it my way island when I'm at the Kame and the world. Where is Yako Paul from her? Leo and hope you let Fiail and Avi. Marco Krenjik, Klingan Hall, the Chen Mokta. Anha David Peterson, Lechmove Haji Villagerus, Adori Haji Esvio. Mi nomijas Grant Goodall, mi estas profesoro prilingvistico en la Universitato de California en San Diego, kai mi ankau estas la directoro de la lingvo programo de la faco prilingvistico. Well, our approach to language instruction at UC San Diego is based on on the idea that in order to in order to learn how to speak a language, you have to hear it and you have to comprehend it. Uh, to use the terminology that linguists use, you have to have input. When I started studying linguistics, that was exactly, pretty much exactly the same time that I started creating language. So for me, the two always went hand in hand. Uh, and personally, the way I looked at it was, um, if you think about like you know art history, and there's a uh, visual art is the association with art history. Uh, conlanging, language creation, is the art that goes hand in hand with linguistics. The way I got into conlanging is essentially to apply for a job. Uh, I got wind of the fact, very fortunately, that back in 2005, got wind of the fact that James Cameron was looking for a linguist who could develop a, an alien language for a science fiction film. If I'm a conlanger, I, I, I became one because I made up this language for the films. Uh, but prior to that, I'd never made up a language. But you know, they called me up on the phone one day and said, we're making a movie, Klingons are going to be the villains. They have their own language, but nobody knows what it is. Do you want to make it up? So that's how, that's how it happened. As a linguist, as a student of linguistics, as a researcher, I, I, I definitely had a sense of what language was all about. When you actually try to put one together, I think you get a real sense of the complexity and, uh, and the wonder of, of language. Originally, when I was developing Klingon, I had a few things in mind. Uh, and the key one was, I'm supposed to make up a language that's not a human language, because it's spoken by people who are not humans. Uh, so how are you going to go about doing that? Because the language is going to be spoken by human actors, and they were not going to do anything electronically or play tapes backwards or any that sort of thing. So I had to make up something that they could pronounce uh, and learn relatively quickly. When, when you're creating a language in general, you start off with a very basic kind of uh, design goal or idea, something that you want to accomplish. Uh, so it's, uh, with, with all the languages that I've created for both Game of Thrones and Defiance, they're all uh, naturalistic languages. That is, they're languages that should look like something that you wouldn't be surprised to find uh, amongst a speech community. The best speakers of Klingon are the fans, are the fans of the language, okay? Uh, and they're all around the world, and some of them are phenomenal. I mean, not only does it, does it sound good, it's grammatically correct, and they know the vocabulary and things like that. And they speak it, they speak it far better than I do.